I'm going to show you how to add multiple custom fields all into one text editor. We've got the advanced custom fields plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. I've got a field group over here called post ACF and I have two fields. They're both just text fields. You could do this with other number fields, URL, whatever you want to use. I've got location and I've got car park spaces. I've done that intentionally just to show you what the name is. So if you are going to have a name that has got spaces, when you come to have the actual field name or the ID that you will be using, it's car underscore park underscore spaces. Then over in our post where I've got an example post, I've already gone and filled in the word location. Well, the field location I've added in London and for the car park spaces, I've just gone and put in 184. Now we go over to a single post template and normally what you would do is you would go and drop in say a heading or even a text and you'd hit the dynamic tag and you'd go and pick your field. So we're going to go for ACF field, we're going to click the spanner or wrench and I've got location or car park spaces. Well that's all great. And it's now going to bring back 184, I could go to the advanced tab and I could go and type in afterwards car park spaces like that and it will appear. But if I wanted to show more than one, you can't do that. And if you were to go over and use a text editor and we get rid of the text and we go to dynamic tab, you're going to have the same problem. Again, you go and pick a field, but you can only have one at a time. If you want to have multiple fields in there and you want to have bits before or after them, here's what you do. You want to go back over to your text editor, square bracket, ACF field. Notice there is a space between the ACF and the field equals speech mark. And I'm going to pop in my field ID that was called location. If you have forgotten, just go over to your fields and you'll see the names over there. That's what you need to be using. We're going to close it off with another speech mark and then we're going to put our closing square bracket like that. Now, when you do that, it won't actually show you anything. So you might think, well, has it actually worked? So if I now go and preview this, you'll see the word location has appeared. OK, so it is working. But what if I now want to add in words before or after? Well, that's OK. I could go and type in location like this with a colon. I can now go and pop that in bold and you'll see there now we've got the bit appearing before, but I've gone and now made it bold, which you could do with the before and after as well. But this makes it so much more flexible because I could now add in further additional styling. But now I want to add in some further items afterwards. So I'm going to add in a pipe symbol and now I'm going to say car park spaces with the colon. I'm going to make that bold and then I'm going to copy what I've done before paste it in and now I'm going to change the ID to be car underscore car underscore park underscore spaces like that. Can you see what it's done? So that's all within the text editor. So if you now wanted to add in multiple fields, like imagine you've gone and created a field which is called bio or something about someone, you know, it might be some further content. You could now smuggle all of that into just one text editor. So that is something we've already covered before. But I just wanted to show it to you again. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and tell all your friends and family about it. I'll see you soon.